Welcome to all myself, Professor Deshmukh MS. Going to present the theory lectures on dynamic open scenery, unit number four, that is balancing. The balancing and the two uh, parts, static and dynamic. So, in this video lecture, we see the static balancing. So, what is balancing? It is quite simpler one. It shows the moving of the center of the gravity with the center of rotations. So, whatever the center of gravity of the, your system is at the point, it is I mean also center of rotation. So, means what gravity point and the center of rotation point which is at the one point also. So, these are the ba balance by means of this both the forces and the couple available with the uh, centrifugal forces. Now this is uh, the shows that shaft and some mechanism which is attached to the uh, for rotating purpose. So with the mass m, the centrifugal forces acting on the shaft that is m r omega square. Omega is the rotation of your shaft. R is the radius. Okay, quite simpler one. If there is something, the difference between the gravity and the center of rotation under that condition, the unbalanced forces are acting on it. So in order to maintain the balancing. We are provided the additional forces or the balance mass. So the types of balancing is quite simpler one. Types of balance it depends upon the uh, the what kind of the balancing that we are being done. So that is static balancing. Second is what dynamic balancing. Again, see the static balancing. Quite simpler one. The only the you have to balance the forces acting on the system, not required to the mass. So if there is mass of center. Is, is, uh, is at the lies on the axis of rotation under that condition the balancing is known as what static balance look at this here so one man is standing on the uh, the plate which will be rotated in either left or right directions but it will be maintained by means of the man by putting the the balance mass over the plate now what are the types of static balancing the balancing of the rotating masses and the balance of the respective masses means what it depends upon the what kind of the uh, motion of the masses that we are being balancing so first that is the balancing of the rotating masses quite simpler one it provide the rotations to the motions means what whatever the forces or the couple acting on it it will be balanced means so centrifugal forces and the centrifugal couples so in that also i have three categories the Balancing of the single rotating masses with a single mass rotating in the same plane. If the plane is same one of all balancing masses, then again second the balancing of different masses in the same plane also. And again third one that is the balancing of different masses with the rotating in the different plane. So quite simpler one single mass single plane. Second different mass single plane. Third is what the different masses different planes. Now first that is the balancing of the single rotating masses with a single plane. So M1, M2, M3, these, 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 are, these are masses, uh, R1, R2, R3, these are the respective radius of the mass M1, M2, M3 and M4. Theta1, Theta2, Theta3, Theta4, this is the angle between the uh, consecutive angles we can say that uh, with the velocity, angular velocity omega. Now look at this here, these are the resolutions. Uh, this schematic diagram which shows some OX axis with OX axis M1 having the theta 1 angle, theta 2 angle uh, M2 and again M3 having M theta 3 angle, M4 having the theta 4 angle and we have got some FC, some resultant forces acting on it and the right direction shows that some vector diagrams that is polygon diagram you can say these are the vector polygons of the different forces because of the different masses. Now analytical method is quite simpler one. What are the forces acting on the system that is equal to zero? Either it is vertical or horizontal directions. Again, in order to balance the system, whatever the unbalanced forces is there, which is uh, being balanced by means of the same magnitude but in uh, opposite directions. So resultant forces and the resultant angles. It's quite simpler. After the solving, we got. Uh, some summation of MR sin omega theta, uh, sin theta, MR cos theta, I mean the negative value it goes to the cancel. Graphical method, graphical method is also uh, same, we have to calculate the vectors, 
uh, with the magnitude and direction also and this is the right directions right uh, the graph shows that the graphical method that is vector diagram with uh, the with the reference of ox we have to draw some theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and theta 4 so again simpler one mr omega then again the um, couple you have to maintain if there is a single plane that is only the forces are acting if there is a number of the different directions are there under that conditions different planes are there under that situation centrifugal couples are acting so if there is a system is closed means what system is balanced if system uh, there is a not a close the polygon under that situations your system is not balanced so this is all about your graphical methods and thanks to all once again